there are moments in our lives when we feel the impulse to impatience, anger, even revenge. It happens even the nicest people. It can happen at work, at school, among our friends, or even in our own family. But these moments are a wonderful opportunity to practice a special virtue, forgiveness. It's the moment when our goodness and our kindness come out on top. There is a beautiful story in the Old Testament about Joseph and his brothers. They hated him. They envied him. They treated him very badly and they sold him into slavery. But then time came when the situation changed years later in Egypt. They were now in his power, weak and helpless and hungry. It was the perfect moment for Joseph's revenge. But Joseph embraced them and forgave them as if nothing had happened. No bitterness, no anger, no revenge. There are different ways that we can live our lives. There are different levels of generosity and kindness. We notice this in the people around us. In today's gospel, Jesus invites us not to stay with the old law. He tells us that we are capable of more. We should not put limits to kindness and generosity and forgiveness even with people who do not deserve it. Jesus told us the beautiful story of the father of the prodigal son. But Jesus himself is the greatest example of forgiveness when he pardoned his tortures from the cross. At that moment, he gave us the power to pardon, something we could never do ourselves. Jesus teaches us that to pardon is not just a duty, it is a privilege. To forgive is divine. To forgive is divine. So every opportunity which comes by to forgive somebody is precious. Let us not waste it. God bless you and have a great Sunday.